Peace be with you. The gospel text for the fourth Sunday of Lent focuses on Jesus' comparison to the bronze serpent. The serpent symbolizes the devil in the Old Testament. It is strange that Jesus is compared to a serpent. Understanding the gospel text requires knowledge of the narrative in Numbers chapter 21. This video will explain the narrative and then explore Jesus' reference to the bronze serpent. Which incident from the book of Numbers relates to the gospel text? In Numbers chapter 21 verses 4 to 9, during the Exodus, the Israelites complained about their conditions in the desert to Moses and against God. They expressed their disdain for the manna provided by God. As a consequence of their sin, God sent fiery serpents and many died from their bites. What image comes to our mind when we think of food, serpent and death? The imagery evoked when we think of food, serpent and death leads us to Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. It was in the garden of Eden that God provided food for them. They rejected the food provided by God, succumbing to the disobedience and temptation from the serpent, ultimately leading to their spiritual death. What correlation exists between Adam and Eve's story and the Israelites in the wilderness? In a sense, what occurs in Numbers 21 is Israel reenacting the fall of Adam and Eve. but now in the wilderness during the time of exodus just as adam and eve rejected the food given by god and sinned by yielding to the temptation of the serpent bringing death upon themselves similarly the israelites in the desert rejected god's gift of manna from heaven they sinned by grumbling leading to their death through the fiery serpents what does god command moses to do God commands something very strange. He commands Moses to make a serpent out of bronze and lift it up on a pole. When Moses makes an image of a fiery serpent, a bronze serpent, and lifts it up on a pole, he is using the very instrument that brought death to the Israelites to save them from the diabolical attack they had fallen under so that they may live. What does Jesus mean by saying As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness so must the son of man be lifted up While most typologies draw positive parallels between Jesus and figures like Adam David or Moses Jesus does something unusual in this gospel He associates himself with a serpent a symbol of death in Genesis and Numbers as well as a symbol of healing in Numbers In the wilderness the Israelites encountered death from fiery serpents due to their sin yet discovered life by gazing upon the bronze serpent similarly the cross once a symbol of death now grants eternal life to those who gaze upon it and accept Jesus as their savior and lord Nicodemus was probably bewildered by the words of Jesus The full meaning of the words can be grasped only after Jesus' death and resurrection. On the cross, Jesus shoulders humanity's sin and confronts death, which is the primary weapon of the devil. Jesus' sacrifice delivers us from the grip of the serpent, which introduced sin and death in Eden and later caused Israelites' downfall, leading to their death. by the fiery serpents in the wilderness what is the message of the gospel text for us today approximately 3000 years ago the bronze serpent in the wilderness appeared to hold healing power for those bitten by snakes granting them life however it was not the bronze serpent but god who performed the healing this incident from the old testament is understood only in the light of the new testament particularly when jesus died on the cross through his death jesus defeated death and broke the devil's hold over us offering healing and eternal life the death of jesus on the cross provides us with abundant grace this grace serves as an antidote to the poisons of greed selfishness jealousy 
pride and enmity in times of wilderness spiritual stagnation and sin there's one remedy fixing our gaze on Jesus on the cross praying for healing and allowing Jesus to raise us up god bless you